Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see how to represent whole numbers using the place value chart. So the question we have is, what is a place value chart? A place value chart looks like this. It is a chart which represents the place of a number given to us. We start with from the right, we start with the ones, then the tens, then the hundreds, then the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million, billion, ten billion, hundred billion, trillion, and so on. So let us let us take some simple examples here, and the examples I want to take are as follows. Let us say we have a number three o eight, three hundred and eight. So we can represent that number as three zero eight. The eight is the one is in the ones place. The zero is in the tens place. The three is in the hundreds place. Let's take another example: eight million seven hundred and sixty-five thousand four hundred and thirty-two. So, we write we start from the right: two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So. The way we read it out is we start uh, from the right and then we count, we say that is 2 is in the 1's place, 3 is in the 10's place, 4 is in the 100's place, 5 is in the 1000's place, 6 is in the 10,000's place, 7 is in the 100,000's place, 8 is in the millions place. So how do we read this? We read it as 8,765,400 and 32. We take 3 as a block. We always take 3 numbers as a block and therefore we're going to then read it out as 8,765,432. So that is how we can read the numbers out. We are always going to read the numbers from from the... Uh, we are always going to place the numbers from the right and then move to the left. Move to the left. Let's take another uh, another example. Let's say we have a number like this. Um, let's let me write it down here: zero, zero, zero. Then zero, zero, eight, and then we have a six here. So zero, the first zero is in the ones place. The second zero is in the tens place. The third zero is in the hundreds place. The fourth zero is in the thousands place. The fifth zero is in the ten thousands place. The eight is in the hundred thousands place. The six is in the millions place. So the way we read this number is six million eight hundred thousand. There are no more numbers. Uh, no, no more numbers. No more uh, numbers greater than zero. So therefore, we go to just read it out as six million eight hundred thousand. Six million eight hundred thousand. Okay. So let's take a few more examples just to be able to um, uh, use this place value chart a little bit more. Let's say I have a few more examples here. Let's say I have a number 975. Let me write it here. 975. 5 is in the 1's place, 7 is in the 10's place, 9 is in the 100's place, so therefore we can, we can read this number as 975. 975 like that okay then let's take another example let's say we this time we have <clears throat> two two seven one nine so two is in the ones place two is in the tens place seven is in, uh, is in the hundreds place one is in the thousands place and nine is in the ten thousands place so therefore the way we read this number is 91,722. 91,722. Okay, let's take one more example just to strengthen our belief in this uh, place value chart. So the other number I wa I have is, let me write it here. So this number I have is zero zero eight zero zero eight three six nine. So the zero is in the ones place, the second zero is in the tens place, the th eight is in the hundreds place, the three is in the thousands place, the six is in the ten thousands place, and the nine is in the hundred thousands place. 
So therefore, the way we want to read this one out is as follows. 963,800. 963,800. And that is the way we use the place value chart to be able to place the numbers in, in their respective locations. In my next presentation, we shall see how to write whole numbers in expanded form.